a simple circuit from a crystal oscillator operating on 6 MHz. The crystal that I've used is from Philips. It's here in the circuit, middle of the screen. Uh, I think you can use also other crystals between 5 and 7 MHz because the whole circuit is not very critical. You see the potentiometer that I've used. Always very important to use a potentiometer in the circuit here to get the whole circuit working. In fact this is a Pierce oscillator. Because the crystal is connected from the collector to the base. And here I split up the collector resistor that gave better properties to the circuit. This is the waveform at 3.4 volts. I go up now to 3, 4 volts. You can see it, uh, there is deterioration. Go back now to 3.2, sorry this is 2.9, 3.3 and the whole circuit is uh, equipped best by three nickel cadmium cells. They uh, give approximately 3.6 volt when they are properly charged. And uh, during the time that, the, that they are discharged, the voltage uh, drops to approximately 3.2 volts. Very easy to make this circuit. I use the BC547B because of its properties. And here you see two capacitors, one parallel to the emitter resistor and one from the base to the emitter, they form a so-called capacitive voltage divider that sets the oscillator to its working point in an AC sense, so where it regards uh, the amplification from AC signals. And when you change, change the values from these two capacitors here, you will see that it doesn't oscillate or doesn't oscillate properly. So when you want to do experiments with this circuit, change this capacitor or this capacitor. I want to demonstrate now how it sounds on my radio. The radio is set to 6 MHz. And when I switch the power supply to the oscillator off, you can hear that other radio signals appear. Because now my radio, because it's very close to the oscillator, only receives the 6 MHz signal.